I want to bring you this amazing story. This man lost his leg while fighting for our country in Afghanistan. But once he left the battlefield, he was forced to fight the same country he sacrificed so much for in order to get the benefits he's due. Javier joining us now to share his inspiring story of how he's working to help other wounded veterans. Uh, yeah, last month was Military Appreciation Month, but in my opinion, it should be every month. And this morning's story is a perfect example why. Anthony Amen lost his leg while on the battlefield, but it was that same spirit of survival that helped him cut through the red tape of trying to get his benefits and that same spirit that helped him launch wings for warriors to fight for other wounded vet uh, veterans just like him. Anthony Amen joined the Navy in 2002. Years later, he was deployed to Afghanistan with the 2nd Battalion, 7th Marines as a hospital corpsman, their doc. I was called over the radio to render medical attention to a Marine that sat on an IED and was uh, not in a good state. And so, uh, there's another corpsman working on him, and I was running to get to him, and uh, yeah, there's an IED right in between us, and so I ended up un unfortunately stepping on that IED. What do you remember about that moment? Lots of pain, intense pain, um, immediately as a corpsman knowing that I was an amputee. It took three years for Amen to recover. The initial blast had completely fractured my tib fib between my ankle and my knee, and so I had a Taylor spatial frame that I had to wear for about eight month period. Um, I had a lot of infections that were reoccurring in this leg as well. Um, I had some sun done to my hand and wrist, um, and you know, just the initial amputation and a couple of revisions as well. Despite the opticals of learning to live life as an amputee, the Purple Heart recipient found himself in a different fight. I was wrongfully denied Social Security for two and a half years, uh, traumatic servicemen's group life insurance, and I had to fight the government that I so bravely fought for and lost a limb for and lost friends with, you know? And so uh, uh, fighting a system that should have been fighting for me at that time in my life really kind of uh, encouraged me to help fight for others once I received those benefits. That's how Wings for Warriors started a nonprofit organization that's helped 5,000 wounded veterans. Wings for Warriors was born to help travel wounded, uh, the wounded warriors' families to visit their healing heroes. And it was also a chance for me to help others, um, really helping the wounded like I was supposed to on the battlefield, but in a different way. This weekend, he and his organization will be honored at the Productive Business Summit. The Warrior uh, Heroes Award was created specifically for wounded warriors who are making a difference and an impact in their community and abroad. And as you've heard Anthony's story, there's no doubt that he fits the mold. People that are, are volunteering for organizations um, really do know what it takes to, to, to get them to be a successful organization and so when when you're recognized for that hard work it, it really does make up for a lot of the, the blood sweat and tears allowing amen to continue his mission of helping people from the battlefield to the boardroom it took me about 10 years to realize stepping on that IED was a blessing in disguise for me I'm so blessed I've got a beautiful family an amazing organization that serves so many people across the country and um, just looking back on that whole journey from the, the moment that that bomb went off until right here with you guys. It's, it's just, my life has been an inc incredible ride. To put that all into perspective, now Wings for Warriors, an amazing organization, as mentioned, it's helped 5,000 plus wounded veterans wow. across the United States, and they're always looking for donations and volunteers. Now, uh, he's decided to step away from his organization, and he says it's time to be a little selfish right now. He wants to uh, get his degree in, in uh, health management. He's also working on a book and also working on a screenplay, mm. so we could see wow. this amazing story on the big screen wow. indeed. But this weekend, he will receive the Warrior Heroes Award at the production business summit, summit happening at the Salvation Army Ray and Croc Center. Tickets are still available out there. Here's our GMAS connection. So in talking to Anthony, he says it was April's cousin Brian who mm. actually inspired him to enlist wow. and he credits him with changes oh his entire life. That guy's done so much. He's it's got amazing. an incredible story he to does. tell and really nice impacts people. family too. Oh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful family. Just a beautiful person indeed. Yeah. You know, it's great spending time with someone like yeah. that and, and you just realize how much sacrifice is going not only his sacrifice, but all of our military yeah, yeah. veterans and, and those current right now.
And how little the rest of us have done. Yeah. I think about that every time I see these guys. Yeah, they signed that blank check yeah. to the country. Thank you for telling the story. Thanks.